Hi guys, I hope you're well. Thank you for tuning in again for another fashion haul video. Seem to be doing a lot of these lately, but it's a new year, new clothes. It's a great excuse, but I did some online shopping at H&M. I haven't even opened the bag yet. I basically want to find some jeans to champion my beloved Topshop straight leg jeans. I mentioned those in my last video that I will leave linked on the screen and in the description bar. And I think I also picked up a couple of jackets or tops but yeah this is mainly perhaps knitwear jeans and I'm trying to find a pair that I like so I'm just going to show you what I bought first and then I'll go try them on with my first impressions. I'm actually going to be honest I'm feeling slightly self-conscious at the moment. I had uh, my fringe trimmed again and I hate it. It's way too short. Every time I get my fringe cut this happens I have to wait a few weeks for it to grow out so must make a note to myself, don't get my fringe cut again, so yeah, just excuse this hair that's going on. Right, it's like the case again of where I've forgotten what I've ordered, but let's see what's in my package. Oh, hat tight, we've actually got quite a few things. A couple of denim pieces, there's, I can spot uh, red denim. I forgot I ordered some red denim in there as well so yeah. Let's just open them one by one. If you watch my videos you'll know I love a vintage fit jean. So the first pair are some black vintage fit high waist jeans. The buttons down the front I remember this is what I love. They do them in blue as well but they don't have these buttons and the black one had the buttons down the crotch which I thought was a really nice kind of touch. Straight leg, tiny bit cropped. I went for a 28 because I'm a 10, so hopefully they'll fit. So they were the first pair of jeans. Oh God, I feel so disgusting. Does anybody ever get a haircut and just feel so insecure and like hate the way that it looks? Ugh, I'm gonna hate editing this. The second pair of jeans is also vintage fit high waist. So maybe these are the same as the black but obviously a different colour so we've got blue just a normal button and zip but I went for some ripped knee action like I don't know if ripped jeans are actually still fashionable I haven't worn a pair for a long time but I really wanted to add some back in my wardrobe because I just think they're really effortless quite cool and they'll look really good with my bands might as well stick with all the jeans and show you them first so next up we have some red denim jeans now I don't know if I will actually get much wear out of these if I keep them. Although I'm wearing red today, I've got a little Pulp Fiction top on from Nasty Gal. I'll leave that link below, it'll be coming up in a haul very shortly. But I'm loving wearing red at the moment. It's a colour that I never thought I would be into and obviously we all know it's a massively popular colour again and it probably will be in spring, summer. So again, vintage fit, high waist. So I have a feeling that these will all kind of be the same style fit, straight leg, high waisted, maybe a tiny bit cropped and I went for a 28 again so I'm hoping that all of these jeans fit because I'm always a little bit off with H&M sizing, it seems to be smaller but I have lost a bit of weight recently so hopefully 28s will be fitting for me. Next we have, I saw these trousers on Amy Fuchsia, if you do not follow her, her Instagram is all of her outfits to die for. She is like effortless, cool. Um, I will leave her linked in the description bar below. And I saw her wearing these trousers. I did actually order these in two sizes. So I ordered a 12 and a UK 10. And they are some faux leather trousers that actually feel really soft. And they're kind of like a kick flare, but they've got these really cool poppers on the bottom, which actually do come undone. And I will show you a picture of Amy wearing them here actually. So she was my major inspo for getting these trousers. I asked her where they were from. She very kindly told me. So H&M for these. Um, none of them have the price on. When you order online they don't have the price but like I said everything will be in the description bar so I have them also in a size 10 to try as well. Right, moving away from trousers, I really love camouflage prints and they do have a couple of camouflage jackets for women like army cargo jackets that are full price. And I love the bargain so I actually spotted that on the men's they had in the sale like a um, army style shirt and I thought well I could wear that kind of like a loose jacket so I went for a size medium and it is just like a army print no embellishment or anything like that just two pockets on the front a long shirt and I thought I could either just wear it as a shirt or I could wear it open as a jacket it might be nice over like a black dress or I have actually got a black hoodie dress that I recently um, 
acquired so I could wear it over the top of that with some bands and it would just be really laid back and cool. Then in this bag we have, oh, a chunky cardigan. If you saw my fashion favourites, I was talking about wanting to find more chunky cardigans. So as I was on H&M, I spotted this cardigan. Again, there's no price, but I think it was only around £30. They also do it in brown. It's just a black cropped cardigan with some kind of chunky buttons on it. They also do it in brown. So I thought I would pitch that up because I'm loving my ASOS grey one. And then we have one more item, which is, ooh, I forgot I ordered this, a black blazer. I'm pretty sure this is only about £35, which is why I thought I would order it because as you know, I love a blazer and I, I've got my black Reese blazer. I will leave my blazer collection video linked as well. But I wanted like a black blazer that's more affordable that I can just chuck over with jeans and a t-shirt. A bit more casual because it won't have any hardware on it. It's just plain black. Just plain black. It's got shoulder pads in it and it's double breasted but we'll see that on. So that was the final thing that I picked up from H&M. So now I'm going to go and try them all on. I will try and try them on in the order of how I showed you them. So yeah, we'll go through all the jeans first and we'll work our way through to the jacket. So let's go try them on. So these are the high-waisted vintage jeans. Uh, the 28 do fit pretty well. I am a 27, 27 and a half inch kind of waist across here and then my hips are about 37 inches if that helps anybody out. What I do always find with high-waisted things though is that you get a bit of gape at the back but I probably would wear one of my Gucci belts with these anyway. They're not actually cropped, they're really like long, straight, slash slim fitted but they're quite a rigid jean so I can't really fit my hands in the pocket but I do think that size down would be too tight and the neck size up would be a bit too big for me so I'm actually pretty impressed with the fit of these jeans. Then we have the more relaxed ripped knee vintage fit jeans and the knee rips are actually a perfect height for me. I'm about five foot eight and the 28s on these do feel slightly looser though. I mean that could be that the denim is less rigid and also the style of these ones. Again they kind of crop, well they don't crop, they kind of just come just above my nubble on my ankle there. I'm actually tempted to try these in a 27 just purely because they do feel like the type of denim that may give, go baggy a bit on the bum after you've worn them a couple of times and I like my jeans to be you know nice and snug fitting so I do love the feel of these, I love the rips and the knees but I am actually going to try a half size down to a 27. Moving on to the red, these are pretty much the same fit as the black jeans are a little bit more rigid, they maybe do feel a bit stiff on the knees, <laughs> that's how high I can get my knee up but I do kind of love the colour but I'm not 100% sure if I will get that much wear out of them. They do look pretty good with the Pulp Fiction tee because of the red and the red but maybe have a think on these and decide if I will get cost per wear out of them for my usually monochromatic wardrobe. Here I have a classic case of my issues with H&M tight fitting trousers. So this is the UK 10, probably cutting the circulation off at the back of my leg and this is like the zip situation and the size 12 are absolutely massive on me so there is no chance that I'm fitting in these trousers, there is no way I do them justice. So again please look at these pictures of Aim Future in them and if you think you'll fit into them definitely try them because I wish I could. So this is the men's shirt on. Obviously it's oversized, um, they didn't have a small left which is why I went for a medium. But I'll show you how it looks and I put my favourite jeans from the haul back on. Um, I'd obviously roll the sleeves up because I do that with everything and I would most likely wear it with black jeans anyway to be fair or open over a black dress, it's just got a few popper buttons here like that. And I think in the sale it was between 12 and 15 pounds so it's just like a cool casual throw on piece that I'd probably wear to the office with jeans boots and maybe a cami underneath so I will probably keep this because it's just one of those easy things you can throw on when you don't know what to wear. Then I've got the blazer on. I've got to say what size I ordered I think so I went for a 12 because I always size up in blazers but this is the perfect fit so perhaps size up because I normally size up to get them a bit oversized but I don't think this jacket needs actually. It comes in here, brings you in at the waist which is really flattering, goes out, I've got the double breastedness. It's actually really comfortable, feels like a really nice high quality material, also looks pretty cool open up as well. So I wanted um, a black blazer to kind of pair with outfits a bit like this. And yeah, I'm really happy with that. So I'll definitely be keeping this one. 
This is the cardigan. I'm not sure if I've done these in the right order, but I've got the cardigan on. Nothing amazing, to be honest. The material feels a little bit itchy, and I don't know, I'm not sure about these bits on the sides. I did get a small. If it's me fine, I would maybe go more oversized, because I do that knitwear anyway, to a medium, but I don't really think I'm gonna keep this one. So out of those, the winners are definitely these blue high-waisted ripped vintage jeans, but I'm going to go a size down. So if you're gonna try them, maybe order your usual size and size down. The blazer, which is here, I love that. Size up in that one, and I kept the camo shirt and everything else I'll probably send back. So that has been everything in my H&M haul. As I said, everything will be linked in the description bar below. Comment with what your favorite piece has been I picked up, and yeah. I hope you enjoyed watching another haul video. I'm going to have another haul video for you next. Um, probably a nasty girl one. I also have a next one to come up. And then I will do my LBD black styling dress. So just there's quite a lot of new in season stock at the moment. And I thought you might like to see it guys. So be prepared for a few more fashion hauls in my next few videos. But thank you for watching. If you're new, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.